Euro 2004. A competition full of surprises. Remember Zidane's double against England. Manouche's cannonballs, Latan's fancy move, Rooney's accession, Portugal's defeat at home. But not only that, before this unexpected final, with an even more surprising result, another team had made the news. The Czech Republic. Let's take a look at the Czech Republic's epic success in 2004. Subscribe to Megafoot, the best of football in video. The Representas, nickname of the Czech national team, led by its captain, playmaker and recent Ballon d'Or winner, Pavel Nedved, arrived at Euro 2004 with a good deal of certainty and confidence. In fact, during the qualifying rounds for Euro 2004, they finished first in their difficult group, which included the Netherlands, Austria, Moldova and Belarus. A perfect qualifying campaign with no defeats, which puts the team in a good position. In the first round, the Czech Republic falls into the group of death. Germany, Netherlands, Latvia. As usual, the Czech team scored many goals. However, the defensive solidity of the team was weakened. In their three group matches, Pavel Nedved's men were behind in the score. But each time, through self-sacrifice, they came back and ended up winning. 2-1 against Latvia, 3-2 against the Netherlands in a completely crazy match where they were 2-0 down. 2-1 against Germany with the luxury of resting their stars. With such performances, they finish on top of their group and qualify for the quarterfinals. They were the only team at the Euro 2004 to have won all three of their group matches. Incredible. Enough to impress their future opponents. In an open section of the table, only France seemed to stand in their way. In the quarterfinals, the representants will face Denmark, who came second behind Sweden in a group that included Italy, looked to be a tough opponent, but were weakened by the absence of key players. In the first half of the quarter, the Czech players seemed paralyzed by the event. The determination of the Nordic team hurt the Slavic team, which bent but did not break. But as soon as they came back from the locker room, shaken by their coach, Carol Bruckner, they found all their bite and their collective spirit. In 15 minutes, the Czechs scored three goals in quick succession. First through Jan Koller with his head, of course, then double for Milan Barros, unbeatable. The sensational second half of the Czech Republic allows the Slavs to return to the semi-finals of the European Championship eight years after the epic of 1996. Greece, who surprisingly beat France in the quarter, now faced the Czechs. The representants started their semi-final like their quarter-final, tense, with pressure around their neck. The only difference is that the Greek team does not worry them more than that and is content to defend. The Czechs create a lot of chances, but can't make them count. As the minutes ticked by, Greece began to play more aggressively in attack, while at the same time tightening their grip on the game. In the 105th minute at the end of the first half of extra time, representants' dreams were dashed. Delas's fierce header doomed them. The Czech fans were devastated and could not console themselves with a third place playoff because since 1980 UEFA has banned the third place playoff. At the time it was Czechoslovakia that had climbed the lowest step. A sad blink of an eye and a sad end for this beautiful Czech team which would have deserved a better exit in this competition. This successful Czech campaign was made possible by strong men who took their responsibility. Together, Petr Cech, Pavel Nedved, Tamas Rosicki, Milan Baros and John Kola carried their team on their strong shoulders. This golden generation had everything they needed to make their mark on this era and bring their team a first title. Petr Cech, the goalkeeper who made Chelsea happy, is the player with the most cap, 124. Pavel Nedved, a golden ball winner and youth's playmaker for many seasons, was a major player in two Czech epics, Euro 1996 and 2004. Finally, Milan Baros and Jan Koller formed an attacking duo that was as complimentary as it was formidable. The former finished top scorer at Euro 2004 with five goals. The latter ended his career with a record number of goals for the national team, 55. To surround this generation of rare talents whose pool had not yet been renewed, the Czech team has been able to count on coach Karol Bruckner. Nicknamed the boss, the sorcerer, or Klecki Petra, he's managed to get the best out of his men. This unrivaled tactician, unknown to the general public, was fond of making tactical changes in the middle of a match and rarely wrong. His other hobby horse was set pieces, which he worked on for hours in training and which were incredibly effective in matches. Unfortunately, his tactical genius could do nothing against Greece 
and this magnificent generation will never reach the height hoped for. Which other team has had a European success story that would have deserved a better outcome? Thank you for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, please tell others about our channel, like it and share it. It helps us a lot to continue to create more content about football news. See you soon for a new video. Ciao!